Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I was right about Lizzo. She's not good. Little Z. Okay, picture this. I'm almost at the conclusion to my thrilling dream, and then Jackson woke me up. Pop it one. I am feeling swole. You look swole. And the Rector Carter. Um, the Pixar lamp. What's he up to now? Who? The Pixar lamp. Who? I, I think he peaked early and then kind has of he, fell off. Is he still in, sir? Does he still... They're trying to catch him still after killing that eye. Yeah. He's fucking on the run. Yeah, they say eye for an eye, but he's he needs his payback soon. Oh, well, God. he doesn't have an eye. It's a light bulb. Or they just break it. And he'll be gone. Yeah, true. All right, so <laughs> who's Why? done that? Do we have Dog the Bounty Hunter on that or something? Who? Dog. Dog. Who's that? The Bounty Hunter. Yeah, You've I know said that. the same word. What? <laughs> who's Dog the Bounty Hunter? <laughs> oh, you don't know who he is? No, he's, that's the whole point. <laughs> wait, you don't know who he is? No. He's got like a Hanwha moustache and he's an American TV show. He catches people. You guys surely know who Dog the Bounty Hunter is. Jackson, please. Yeah, yeah. Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> he, there's no way Jackson knows He gets knows treats. This. He gets treats. Wait, he's no, he's an American not, show. Not How do we know? And he sits he's on not command. a dog. The he guy's name command. is Dog. Surely you guys know Dog the Bounty Hunter. He's is not a dog? dog. No, you guys are on the wrong side of the fence on this one. We can't be on the wrong side of the fence. Where do you know this from? Yeah, how do you know this? Um... Amer- everyone What's knows the show him? called? No, everyone, wrong, there's three wrong. people. It's, no. it's literally wrong. No. more likely. I've never seen that image. Is that a WWE star or something? I'm showing them the photo of Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, no idea. He looks like he's clearly in WWE. not a dog. It's going over glass Doesn't eyes. even look much like a dog either. You know what? I'm Doesn't just going to wait for the hunter. comments to roll in. They say, I that- don't know this. Anyone know this? I don't. Making this up. Yes. <laughs> 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 I will not be gaslit. This is a dog. cornerstone of Zach's childhood is Dog the Bounty Hunter. I never even <laughs> watched it. You dropped that's, it like it was so universal. Yeah, that's how far it's reached. I've never seen an episode. I know exactly who he is and what he uh, Episode like. of what? Dog, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Hunter. Is that the name of the show? Keep up, yes. What is that? What, what channel do? is that on? Okay, the closest thing I... It's like... He's like Guy Fieri. Who's that? No, oh, he's not. I do that's, know who that is, but... That is not terrible. really, though. Okay, he's a bounty hunter that like chases after people when he has a TV show. And his oh, name's Dog. To, did you guys ever watch the bounty hunter on YouTube? Shit, I forgot his name. But Dog. It, it was probably <laughs> fucking no, Dog. It wasn't Dog. You asshole. No, there's a famous <laughs> and one. And his famous tagline. <laughs> <laughs> there's I'm a out famous here one. alone, Jordan. No, Just say it's Dog, please. It's not Dog. I need it's you not. To. It's like Pat, Pat the bounty hunter. Oh, so it's like oh, a short Big three. D. Who knows Big D the bounty hunter? Anyway, it came out it was all fake. You say bounty hunter like a true Australian. How do you, you Bounty say Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Bounty Hunter. <laughs> we are Australian, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. There's two T's in the phrase Bounty Hunter. And you said you, none say, of them. you didn't even say a D for it. It was just Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Patty the, uh, Mayo. True. Yeah, that's the Bounty Hunter. I thought it, it was Bounty English Hunter. to remove all your T's. Like, Patty Mayo. Oh, yeah, but Jordan just like it transcended Australian because we turned them into D's and he just took it a step further and just got rid of it Bang. completely. <laughs> Bound, bounty Hunter. I think I say the T's. You actually have a good no enunciation. Dog, a bounty hunter. You say it. Bounty Hunter. No, you don't. I think that's how I say bounty it. Bounty Hunter. That's so no, much he effort. Does, he does it. Yeah, that's enunciation. It is effort. Bounty Hunter. That's why I say <laughs> <laughs> We got so that's stuck on this. It. We got so stuck got on this. So- I'm, I'm still... <laughs> Actually, astounded that none of you know this. I this love is the, like big, you haven't seen an episode. Big Mandela effect. Like I thought he was huge. The fact the fact he that some big. people he in our like live WWE. stream for the patrons don't know is also. I reckon I might just start oh. making something up every episode and then trying to convince you guys it's real. That might be my new bit. Cat the French Chef. <laughs> yes, <laughs> something like that. Cat the French. Chef. <laughs> yes, yeah, just a different animal every time and a different random job. That's a good. I, um, think, I think I've already taken that. Any other animal, it's like. It's giraffe the policeman. Like, it's not going to sound good. That well, sounds like Dog a... the bounty hunter doesn't sound good. It no, just sounds good to you. mine's real. <laughs> yeah, mine is going to be real too to this me. This is a... Um, it's a podcast game. You have to bring two names, like Dog the bounty hunter and Cat the... I don't know, and French chef. Real. And which one's real. And we all bring one each. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Well, that my- you have to pick a really obscure American celebrity like Dog the Bounty Hunter. No, no, he's really well known. Sorry. He is well known. <laughs> anyway. I love how all three of us went, we don't know him, and Zach goes, everyone knows him. <laughs> Speaking of well known, what's Lizzo up to? <laughs> like, I don't know this. I want to know about all right, this. So for context, two weeks ago, Zach talked about how he saw Lizzo live mm-hmm. at Splendid Grass. And I was like, I don't really like Lizzo. 
It was more like, I just not really into their music. I can't like claim that I had some, you know, psychic knowledge or anything, but she's getting cancelled now. Not claiming psychic Ooh. knowledge? No, not this time. Okay, not today. Real quick, before we go any further, I did tell a story about Lizzo signing someone's ass at that festival as well. Yep. That person got the signature tattooed, and that was in the last, like, really, they few did. weeks. Yep. No so way. just before Lizzo gets cancelled, they have her signature tattooed that's on there. That's pretty funny, actually. That is terrible. I almost <laughs> think that's better. So what I've heard is that she, like, called people fat. Is that it? Ooh, yeah, she, apparently she was fat phobic, which is uh, she blamed ironic. Her on their juice. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a friendly fire <laughs> on that one. Joke. You know, friendly fire wasn't able to on this server. a lot of a server. friendly fire. Well, you know, for someone championing fat acceptance to be the person doing the fat shaving is a bit of a yikes. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't it, like a little, a, yeah. Uh, and then I've also to claims of uh, sexual misconduct and harassment, especially with her backup dancers more than anything. So like mm. when they'd like go out to their partying or something after their shows or maybe just on tour, she would make them do like weird things with sex workers as part of like hazing almost. Where you just uh-huh. like, hey, do this really weird thing. And they're like, that's really fucked up. But it's like, you kind of have to do it because it's part of the group. It sounds to me like a situation. You know, those bosses that don't really understand that they're a boss. Yeah. yeah and they're yeah. like, oh, I'm one of you guys. It's like, it's not really how it works because you have a lot of control over whether I yeah. keep my job. Yeah, that's a weird situation. Because if it's like a group of friends and it's like, you do that because you're being silly. So like you can feel comfortable. To, well, you should feel comfortable to be able to say no. no. When it's your boss yeah. that's telling you to do weird shit, you're kind oh, of in then a, it's a, a weird situation. situation. Yeah. Like, I don't want, I don't yeah. want to go into complete detail, but it's like to do with like, eating fruit out of the privates of sex workers and stuff. It's like fucking strange. Yeah. I don't want to like go into great detail. It's just really weird shit that I can imagine people doing ass a bit with other people. But because in this it's context, boss, it's really weird. It's weird. So oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And also like the whole reversal on her entire image being body acceptance. And yeah. then like, that's weird. She was that's fun crazy. Of, apparently the backup dancers, some of them like gained a bit of weight and she like pointed it out in. Yeah. said that the, like, Or is she so yeah. fat accepting that she didn't see it as rude? She Ooh. was like, well done. You're fat. No, I think she, <laughs> and I think it's just she like told them looking, off for looking chubs. Oh, yeah, no, I off? think she's oh. she's also come out and saying denying it all. So we'll have Smart. to see how it goes. Ooh. I don't want to don't want to jump on the ship yet of being like, well, oh, all these claims are all 100 true. You got to wait for it to all come out in the wash. Mm. And this this podcast does come out a week after we uh yeah, so. record it. So maybe there's been a revelation since and now we're looking quite silly, who knows. Now, she is a musician. Are we expecting an apology track? <laughs> 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 yeah, I think sure we're going to get a remix of Toxic Gossip. From yeah. What's it going to be called? The fucking well, no, it'll probably know. be a parody of one of her um, songs. Well, I guess the right? thing is, does she write any of her songs? Because a lot of pop singers Lizzo don't write canceled? any of their songs. Yeah. It's about damn time. Am I right? I don't so know. So maybe Lizzo she songs. disagrees You're with all her songs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zay. I'm sure that was a great joke. It but wasn't. It's a tough crowd today. <laughs> it's not like people were even waiting on it. It wasn't even... <laughs> I knew it was coming. I wasn't happy about it, but I knew it was coming. When you've locked eyes with Zach and you know he's about to drop a banger and you're like, oh, oh yeah. I can't stop him. <laughs> 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 he's got that it's look in, in his eye. motion now. Yeah, yeah, you're like, you oh, just well. have to sit there and take it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe chuckle. <laughs> Who's the who's the comedian who does the the thing about the the what's called, I know it's probably not very PC to say but the joke Tourette's, not to make light of people with actual Tourette's. Have oh, you heard about yeah. that bit? No, I haven't. No. Oh, it's just where you feel like uh, whenever a joke comes into your head, you don't have a you can't help but say it. Yeah. Mm. No matter if it's appropriate or not, I think Zach has the most serious case of that here. In really? The no, mine are meticulously planned. No, but if you think it's good, you're saying it. What's, yeah. yeah, what's going through the filter? Anything get filtered out or is that... Lots of stuff gets filtered out. Wow. And that's what you... That's okay. scary. <laughs> so what top, top what percent do we get to see? You probably get top 20%. Whoa, I'd hate Ooh. to see no, that but that's on the that's on the podcast because I don't want to interrupt trains of thought. And then like the longer a joke is in my head, the more I realise it's just bad. Okay. But if we're doing like a Mario Kart video, yeah, that Send shit it. is getting thrown at the wall. Is that what more of a you're... 50% in Mario Kart then? Or is it still... 20. No, that's not Mario Kart. It's probably a 98%. Yeah, Mario Kart. <laughs> I just holster the 2% that might be like, get me cancelled. Yeah, and okay. then we're good. Yeah, yeah I, I. What about if, when you're alone with Maddie? Is that 100? Um, or does she actually have like one? Does she <laughs> hold you to some standard? <laughs> 150, 150, yeah. <laughs> My brain's on overdrive trying to come up with more. <laughs> to get she out finds, me, 20. She finds me so funny. That's why. Yeah, I, I think that I've just locked Sophie in hard enough that I can go for the 150 and not, not you know, be afraid that she's going to leave me because they're so bad. So that's good. 
Respect. Respect. You get, yeah, you get your cancel card. <laughs> Cancelled in p- private. <laughs> Man, Sophie's got the fucking document. <laughs> she's <laughs> ready. <laughs> she's ready to drop it. And to you be fair, fuck with right? that. Comedy, comedy is all about pushing boundaries of what is okay to say. Yeah. So it is a tough thing to do is to make good ones without coming across I don't know ass. It's all about that. But a yes, lot of it, it is. is, a, is a big, yeah. I think how far could we get with the <laughs> teddy buggy? <laughs> teddy buggy. I mean, obviously there are things that are objectively just witty and very good, but sometimes it's saying things that people are thinking but afraid to say. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's really, you need to know your audience and it's, it's a tough line to toe. Yeah, but what if she doesn't write her songs. She probably doesn't write any of her songs. Maybe she disagrees with all her messages. Oh, just get someone probably. else to re-sing them and then she can get cancelled. If she's actually... She does a lot more than just like guilty. sing her message. I think she also preaches it yeah. like, in interviews, etc. Oh. What if uh, she actually hates fat people and is only doing it for the social clout of being part of the fat acceptance movement? That'd Seems be a big of move. Being large. Seems not Literally a big move. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Seems not worth it. Seems not worth Yeah, I know, but no. you're not as famous as her, so what do we know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, her song is just like very positive. Hopefully there, it comes around. There is a bit of a phenomenon Go on. of every larger celebrity. They all eventually make a big change and they get what do you they mean? actually lose a lot of weight. Oh, what was that? The person who played Fat Amy. What's her name? The Jack Australian? Still Rebel, Shum- yeah. Rebel, Rebel Wilson. Wilson. Sorry. She um, really lost a lot of weight. Jonah Hill is looking fucking toned at the is moment. Mr. He, uh, Beast is looking toned at the moment. Do you Mr. see him Beast in the was l- never like. Oh yeah, but though. still, he, he was wasn't in shape though. He yeah, was yeah, like yeah. Right. a bit out of shape. No, he is jacked now though. Yeah, his latest video, Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> good, good mention, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I thought I needed to get that in yeah, there. Get the, the, Mr. the weekly mention. Mr. Beast mention. Jack Black still have a collab with it? us if we mention him every week. Why do you think? Why do you think Jack that people do this? Celebrities. Why do they get healthy? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's what most people want to do. And then they just have like more time. Yeah, So I many resources. More time and money. Yeah. Doesn't that go against the, the fat acceptance movement though? What do you mean? Well, but like if you have access to a personal chef that can make all your meals like under your calorie goals and hit every macro and shit every day. Yeah, I, I think fat acceptance trainer. is more so not hating on people for being fat, but still... You don't want to be like, this is the way to go. Okay. I think some people do take it that way, which is probably a bit misguided in my opinion. What do you but mean? I, didn't know l- I think that some people in like the, this movement think that it is, I don't know. I, I it's not a, this is a pretty un, un PC take cause <gasps> it's against the, a, this acceptance movement, but right. they think that it is just as healthy to be oh, whatever right. size. Yeah, sure. And that's like, you know, I- people, people have phrases like healthy at any size. Like that is like a tagline of this movement. Oh shit! I've never I don't. That. I don't think it is responsible. Sure, that's a I don't, that. I don't either. It's objectively not true. Yeah. Well, and I think and, it, yeah. but then these people, when someone who they see as someone who was leading this, like Rebel Wilson, who was yeah. very successful and you know talented while still being large, then they get skinny and then they hate them because they're like, "Fuck yeah. you!" I think that's an extremely loud minority, though. Yeah, I feel probably. like overall it's been. Like really good. It was so funny. Holly um was reading like this romance book, right? Uh, that her mum had recommended her from like the sixties, <laughs> and it's like so funny because you see the difference in society. The entire because you know how nowadays the whole stereotype is like the kind of nerdy girl or whatever, and she like takes off her glasses, and now she's hot, and yeah. like or like they get with the guy who isn't the cooler guy. That like that has been you know how society kind of flips too far the other way. Because she was reading this book and the main character who you're supposed to like, she's trying to get with this guy who has a girlfriend, but the girlfriend is like fat. And the whole (laughs) book is her like, her thunderous thighs. How is is he even with her and all this shit? And you're supposed to be on her side. Damn. Yeah, that's not Why would you be with her? She's so like fat and ugly and stuff. Right. But it's like, obviously we never saw that side of society, I feel. Okay. Um, I'm quite sad that Lizzo's getting cancelled though. She's actually got quite a few bangers. I like some of her songs. But I did find a new banger this week. You ready? It's about to start. Yep, bro, I'm ready. So what are we I'm not the very oh. best. <laughs> I can't catch them all. <laughs> I'm losing with offense. What the I'm fuck? losing with stall. So for those... <laughs> 
For those that might not uh, realize yet, that is Jordan's AI that someone's put <laughs> over my recently released song about Landerous T. I'm How taking over. They act so I'm quickly. Over. So you've seen this, Jordan? I have. I, I have seen yeah. that. You yeah. should copyright claim his song now. <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. <laughs> you didn't make it. <laughs> I don't know. I think you could just say you did. <laughs> well, there's a big talk about reaction streamers at the moment. I could claim. Yeah. My you said oh shit! We should talk. talk about that. Yeah. There's not been a lot going on. Do you see Kai Senate oh, riots? Oh, well? no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Save it. Okay. We got the we got the what, underdogs what news later. Yeah, we about just played more. <laughs> no, you haven't heard the end. <laughs> All right, oh, go on. Okay, I haven't heard the end. I don't think. <laughs> got bored. I've been put to the test, but now I'll it leave. It sounds so good though. When I'm planning my team. Okay, now Way to enunciate it for Landorus T for Jordan. Yeah, Landorus. Wait, can you, how, how, would you, how would you sound? Can you? Landorus T. I mean, if you're that saying T, you have to say T. No, I meant the Landorus part. Oh. All right, so it starts getting a little bit fucked when the choir comes in. Oh, does and it, it doesn't break? quite realize how to make Jordan's voice cover like 10 different voices. Brilliant. <laughs> so. You're gonna bring her back to a That sounds accurate. Yeah, that sounds more like Jordan. <laughs> Why does it give me a voice break? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. That was like a Waluigi yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that is great. That was brilliant. Wow. It's I'm funny. crazy. Why is that consistently? I think I can listen to a hundred of those and still find it it's funny. It's so <laughs> funny. I think the fact that we know Jordan, but somehow he's big enough for someone to have made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's voice. so like, I don't funny. know Barack Obama personally, so it's not as funny when I hear his voice to maybe his wife. Yeah, that's true. If his wife heard him, yeah, his like family treasure. probably cracking up at all the memes. <laughs> yeah, during every Christmas dinner for the rest of his life, he's just, "Hey, Barack, you want to hear you sing Silent Night?" <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine at the family it's dinner? Long. It's just they bring it out. And it's just like, "Let me be queer," and they're like, "Yeah," <laughs> <laughs> like they're all like losing their shit. <laughs> oh my god! Brilliant. Um, it's better. Sorry, Zach. To me. Yeah, oh, your the version. Jordan cover. I gotta, get, I gotta give it up where it's due. It was where better. talent is due. What happens if you now plug Zach's AI voice back in on Jordan's cover? Ooh. Does it start to get a bit confused? Someone should well, do that. Well, this is the sort of revelation I had. I could write any song with any lyrics yeah. and get this guy to put Jordan's voice on it. Yeah. Like, I shit my pants every day. <laughs> like, every lyric could just be it's some true. bullshit. I'll never upload it on my channel and then it'll just be... That's what's going to start song. happening. Hey, you're not going to be able to tell. It'll be like, haha, in the news, Donald Trump shat himself. Look at this. And it's just him. <laughs> I have shat myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. That wasn't a good example. Th- this was is more the visual. greatest pants shitting of all time. <laughs> this is the, the biggest shit ever done in anyone's yeah. pants. And I shouldn't have got pants made in China. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you won't be able to tell. Right. So Kai Senate, who's like, He's Almost. the biggest Twitch streamer, oh, I reckon. Oh, Twitch streamer? Yeah. Like, he had more subs than... X- he's, like... He's pretty much on XQC's level of, like, Twitch mm. streamer. No, I know Kaisen at. Yeah. I don't know these oh, So, he had a meetup in the city of New York where he said, everyone come, I'm going to be giving away PlayStations and all this shit. Just organized it like that on a live stream. Didn't inform any security, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, didn't organize Holy a meetup, shit. just had everyone rock up at this square. On his live streams where... I was looking at his VODs. His VODs on his Twitch get like 3 million views each. So it's like a lot of people. I think he usually has like 80, 90K concurrent viewers, right? Yeah. So I think in New York, like, I don't know the exact numbers. Do you know? I heard like seven, eight thousand thousand people just rocked up in New York and it just was mayhem. And they were like smashing cars and like jumping on cars and fucking hitting the gritty on top of a car and shit. shit. And it was stores getting broken into. It's just people with nothing to do because they get there and they're like, where's my PlayStation 5? And it's like, well, there's 7,000 people here and there's yeah. maybe 10 PS5s tops. I don't yeah. know what it was. Actually oh, was. So he had PlayStation 5. I'm sure he I was think actually he was giving away this. gift cards for 
them, I thought, not holding I the I thought you meant like he got everyone there by saying he had PS5s. Then when everyone got there, he said, let's all riot. No, 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 no. no so no, it's no. not that bad. No, he didn't want, I assume, like he's not like, let's fuck everything But isn't up. he a bit of a, like a, what's the bad word for prankster? Like a menace, a bit of a menace. I think he? like I that is know. popular with kids as if you're a bit like anti-establishment for sure. And so yeah. it, it, you would attract people like that by he being like, I don't care about anything. He must cultivated you know? that kind of audience. Because yeah. obviously I feel like if Taylor Swift did the same thing. Well, if we did that, there would not be a riot. The Underdogs fan meetup would be chill as hell. I don't think yeah, we could get 8,000 people. Oh, we <laughs> couldn't. But if we could, that's but more 8, the reason. 8,000 people of our fan group would probably not I think it'd be pretty chill. We get three people turning up. We're like, now nah, let's riot. <laughs> they all go home. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> we get arrested. Just kicking a fucking fire hose. <laughs> It's like when Prime got released in Australia, like all the kids going nuts outside the supermarket, just like yeah. knocking stuff over and stuff. Idiots. Was it? Prime oh, does not I don't taste know great. That. I think <laughs> we've tried them all. Yeah. I yeah. This uh, uh, am I old? Where this the new generation? What's going on with them? Just young people are just crazy people. We weren't crazy when we were young. I don't know. I wasn't. Jackson, really. when you were in your prime, <laughs> was I crazy? I don't know. Nice. Yeah. Probably not. No. You definitely were more crazy than you are now. Oh, that's true. You yeah. used to go out. Yeah. Um, oh, Jesus. No, more. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like you used to go out clubbing in that ball. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if that makes you crazy. But yeah, just a group of like 7,000 like 17-year-olds probably who are just like... Twitch, like, Twitch you're, chatters. You're Twitch chatters. That's all you can say. Chatters. That's all that needs to be said. When they realize they can't spam emotes in chat in real life, they just start going mental. They lose their minds. They're yeah. like, where are my poggers? Pretty brutal. Who it's crazy. That? So and um, that kind of leads me to the next thing of the, what's it called? The, the reaction thing. We're a bit late to this one. It kind of happened about a week ago, but it doesn't really matter because oh, it's yeah. always relevant is yeah. what is acceptable as reaction content on YouTube uh, and what is not because, so what happened here is that really started this was, do you know about this with XQC yeah. and let me know this video? Yeah. You know about this one, Jackson? I do not. Let us okay. know. Okay. So basically... There's this channel called Lemino and they make really, really well-made deep dive type video essays. And he hadn't released a video in like a year. And he has like 5 million subscribers. So it's not just like someone going off. And he ended up releasing an hour long video with like all custom made graphics and really well researched, like yeah. a year's worth of work for yeah. this YouTube channel. Sure. And then he uploaded it, got a bunch of views. And then XQC just re like uploads his reaction to it, which is just him in the corner for an entire hour and 30 because he pauses a bit to talk about it sometimes. And just that's the upload. You know, it's just this guy's work plus him in the corner with a bit of reaction. And people really didn't like this because it's such a high effort video. Yeah. He's put so much time into it. And then XUC has literally spent an hour and a half and then he gets comparable views. It's the power of fame. Yeah, exactly. And then people like, what is an acceptable reaction video on YouTube? I brought that conversation up again. Yeah, I remember, do you remember the H3 lawsuit back in the day? Yeah, that, was yeah. The, that, that does get brought up. Yeah, yeah, it does. I reckon they just need a content sharing kind of thing on YouTube somehow. They do. I think it's a problem with the oh, YouTube you system. you mean like where... Like if XQC yeah. reacts to your video, you get 50% of his revenue or something. Oh, then it's just a good thing. Then it's just good for all. Yeah. yeah that does yeah. make sense. Oh, that's, that I was think easy. I need something like that. Because it's like, it's it's like what's, what's going on with you, Jordan? That's a, that's a good <laughs> that's idea. A great that's idea. a phenomenal <laughs> idea. But like, they need something like that. But like, it's weird because obviously not every, like people like Daily Dose of Internet and Mr. Beast were kind of in support of XQC on this topic saying like, well, we like react to all our videos, please. It's great for publicity. Publicity. So yeah, it's like a it's weird so thing. It's so easy for Mr. these people Beast to say. Like it's so easy for these people to say. It's just like, oh, my video gets a hundred million of views and then yours gets a uh, one million on your reaction. Oh, that's okay. It's like, yeah, yeah. okay, dude. But like, imagine if you're a channel that spent a year making one video and then they get the same views as you know, like that is not the same as daily dose of internet. Cause Daily Dose of Internet is just taking other people's yeah. videos <laughs> and then compiling them with his reaction. I think revenue react share is so the best. I revenue honestly, share or like a very uh, direct publicizing of it. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like I'm, imagine if this happened to me, right? I spent ages on a video. You'd want to make sure that your channel grew significantly from it if you're not getting money from it. And I think people, mm. I think that's the question is people don't know if it actually does yeah. promote your channel or not because there's no way to test because... You can't have the situation happen twice. Well, surely you could see the spike in like, or well, if there is one of subscribers or views the day that he uploads it. Yeah, you would you would hope so, but I don't know if it is that I, noticeable. I saw someone that did a bit, I don't know, it was like kind of an experiment. I guess they 
let, I think it was a big, big streamer. I forget who, but they let them react to their video and they said they had some like stipulations. Like, I want you to like link me in the description. I want you to put one of my other videos on the end card. And they like posted a whole bunch of their like stats. They said like, this is the day it was uploaded. Like the views went down this much, like blah, blah, blah. It didn't seem like it had any sort of positive effect. Wow. But then the video they linked in the end card got like a bunch of views. Okay. It was like it was like a one video example. So no sort of like actual good statistics, but it didn't seem good. Well, it depends for the on the reactors. case. Because sometimes on a lot, yeah. someone would, might get only a thousand views on their video and then it gets reacted to by someone big and then it blows their channel up. That's possible. Yeah. That's what happened a bit with me reacting to Smash Bracket. I don't know if you've seen Smash Bracket. They do like videos where they compare Smash Bros fighters, um, but who would win like canonically. Mm. Uh-huh. Like so Kirby gets all their powers up against Sonic or something. Yep. And so I reacted to this channel really early on and then the people who made the channel were like super supportive and they're always like messaging me like hey i made new video can you react to it please because <laughs> it's funny. like been really good for their channel so it's it, a weird it thing very much depends on the context and they always talk about the whole like transformative versus not transformative and shit yeah. because like i know that we've all done some form of reaction content uh, jack you probably haven't but you know the rest of us have probably done some form of reaction content in some form so it's a bit of like a pot calling kettle black but it really just does depend, and it's so confusing. There's, there's yeah. not like a solid line. No, absolutely <laughs> no, not. Because it's like you can. Yeah, I was gonna. There's ask a, you there's that. a scale of how much of the original video would you include. I think it can't be a replacement for the original video, which like XQC watching the whole thing and pausing is a replacement for the video plus his comments. Well, you're not gonna go I watch think, it. You know. I think you need to like only yeah, include yep. some parts of the original video. If XQC isn't commenting on a bit for like. 30 seconds, he should cut it out. Yeah. Because that is not fair use. And like what streamers do is they'll like eat food while they have reaction videos, which is where yeah. they don't even comment mm. on anything. They just let it play. And then there was the whole thing where XQC like left the room for five minutes and came back and yeah. made like a bit out of that other video. That oh was, yeah, I seen him doing that for a different video. Yeah, he came back and he was like, no, they're going to say that I'm not reacting to it. So he's like, this is a talking about, start talking about the architecture and that and like making a bit out of it. Yeah. It's like... Sounds like a chill guy. <laughs> I think that oh, people have been coming around on the realisation. This is a huge generalisation, by the way. So don't t- take it with a huge pinch of salt. Love the it. streamers aren't necessarily great people or as relatable as you might think they are because their lives are not the same as yours. Do you know what I mean? Like, these, because Hassan got in a lot of trouble recently for his take about this riot that we were talking about because he basically was just like watching this news report of this store that got broken into and they stole their stuff. And he was like, who cares? They took $3 worth of your Doritos. Get over it. And it's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, this is someone's small business and you're now reacting to the news about their misfortune and making more than he'll make in a month in one day. Shut the fuck up. You know, it's like, Mm. I don't know. And then people really get up on their high horse of being like, I'm allowed to react to this and make a million dollars off it. It's like, are you? Like, should you be? I don't know, man. And they act like they're very entitled to it. So I think the entitlement of streamers has really come across re- uh, recently. Yeah, I'm mm. a big not fan of reactions. Mm. Have you also mm. seen... See, I um, love reaction videos. I will admit. Yeah, you do. I love a good reaction. Out of all of us for oh, reaction I, videos. I also watch like them a lot. Yeah, sure. It's like what enjoy I enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I watch it like a lot of the fair use reactors the like commentary YouTube. yeah i think it's not even counted as reaction anymore do you mean like people uh, like curtis connor and like yeah. drew gooden and stuff like that like commentary channels but they specifically make sure to not play the like movie or whatever for longer than like five seconds before cutting to their face and their reaction and all mm, that yeah like you can tell they have to be pretty careful with it mm. um have you guys seen the jacks films and sniper wolf i did see like, that saga of this thing it's, as it's well? all ties in it's all part of this as well i did yeah you guys know yeah. jacks films no, no. So, sorry. I know Sniper Wolf though. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is basically you do. <laughs> <laughs> popular. Yeah, he's yeah. Got like twenty five million subs or something. Yeah, Sniper Wolf. At, like to put it in perspective, her last maybe one thousand thumbnails have been like an internet video and her face like whoa, like she, all she does is like reactions to TikToks. Yep. Um, and then Jax Films, who's like a very old world YouTuber, has basically he's pretty much launched an attack on her like full scale by just like reacting to her videos and then he has this channel jj jacks films 
which he's had for ages, but then they got into some Twitter beef and he like fully doubled down. It's so funny. Yeah, now he does daily videos reacting to her uploads and he grades them whether they like give the original poster any credit, whether she adds anything or she just says like, oh, how did that happen? Right. Because her, her com- reactions her are really bad. Is like, Whoa! I can't even. It's like well, it's place. like you know. There was I, I. I clicked on one to be like, what the fuck is this drive about? So I looked at one and I watched the first reaction, and then I before I closed it, and it was a TikTok of someone like sitting at a table for a birthday, and then the table falls down, and the cake falls on the floor, and she was just like, why'd you make your table like that? Then it replays, and it's like, is that table on stilts? And then it like replays the clip, and it's, it's just like, for a whoa, younger this audience. ruined my birthday, and what? it's like. W- it can't be a crime to be bad at something, though. No, it's kind of like funniest home videos. When you're just so. taking someone else's content and then adding nothing of value, I think is the problem. It's not that you're bad at reacting. I'm sure she's actually well, very talented. Uh, she's probably adding something of value to people. No, to, I think uh, the part you're missing is that I she haven't seen it. Keep in mind, doesn't give credit to like ninety percent of the people. Yeah, sure. And then sometimes we'll put her face cam over where the TikTok handle is. Mm, that's not great. Yeah, it's kind of like going out of her way to. Not credit the original creators. There's no links yeah. or anything. Well, I, when you do, I haven't actually watched your reacting to TikToks. Uh-huh. Do you go like, all right, we've got one here from <clears throat> Jiminy Cricket. I do sometimes if they're really good, but most of the time, I think that the thing is, is that a lot of the time we're bashing them yeah. for one. So it's yeah. not just like, shout out to this person. And secondly, the video is maybe, I don't know, 20, 10% TikTok. And then 90% making jokes afterwards. Yeah. Right. It's not like 50 50. It's not like 80 yeah. 20. It's, it's like we watch it once and then we talk about things. And then we do that. And then if it's one that I do like. Yeah. And I think it is like, damn, check this out because I liked it. So I'm going to check it out. Then I'll shout them out. That seems- you know who had this down? Ray William Johnson. He always <laughs> gave full that? credit. Yeah. Do you remember Ray William? Yeah, he was man. Like the Equals <laughs> three. Yeah. He was like the first. What is going on? He used on? to be the top YouTuber and his channel was, do you know Daily Dose of Internet? No. Okay. So well, it's just his channel was pretty much just compiling other videos and reacting to them. Right. Yeah, he much. walked so Daily Dose of Internet could yeah, run. Yeah. He made some <laughs> bad jokes in between too. Give him some credit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a steep <laughs> reaction the, the to each thing. Yeah, you remember the transition? Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, Jordan's I on board. I watched it recently. Confusing. Confusing. I don't really, I don't really know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, so that's it feels fair. hard to comment. Have uh, you guys ever had a reaction to any of your videos? Like a someone reacting to it? Yeah, like I had bad. someone watch my video where I lose and I eat cheese, but every time I say cheese, they eat cheese. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's so funny. It's very transformative. Yeah, it was. Good on them. Have uh, you, Zach? Uh, yes. <laughs> Fatality once reacted to the entire Captain Falcon job interview yep. and didn't add enough for me. And oh, just I actually it. had zero react to my video recently on... Um, really? Wait, wait what? The MK Leo oh shoot on and video. Did he upload it or did he stream it? Or he what? uploaded it. But honestly, he actually... Because I watched it because I was like, you know, I will guess I'll, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll figure I'll it watch out. That. And then it was like... Because obviously he's extremely top player level, so he actually did add a lot of stuff that I was, was actually he interested you in. Uh, wrong? No, no. He was just adding a lot more context in terms of Wait, what so top players were why thinking did he of watch in the moment. Your video? Just why as did he a just reaction watch the video. Set? I'm confused. I don't know this content, man. Sorry. Um, so he could add I'm context the to that, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's say if we were going to have a big gathering of people and instead of giving PS5s, what should we do instead? Give them lemons. No, no, no. Obviously. We should do something cool. Our fans like, are imagine if those 8,000 people came and instead of smashing cars, they all went to that, that vendor and like gave them a dog. Oh, I think we just hand out like gloves and a bag and we say, let's pick up some rubbish. Australia's That's pretty good. good at it with rubbish. Though. But then I don't think you're going to get 8,000 people coming out. So you have to promise no, we, PS5s. We, yeah, we don't tell And them. then be okay with saying, now you're picking up rubbish. I think no, that's, no, no, no. That's we, inciting a riot. We say... <laughs> people are going to be pissed <laughs> off. I think there's going to be a bigger riot. Yeah, yeah. Once you've picked like a up bad idea. a full bag of rubbish, once you get a full bag of rubbish, you can play Jordan in a friendly. That's Ooh. great. And then, they, and then we clean up the world. I'll do this right now. That's huge. Yeah. Should we do this? Should we? Have you guys ever thought about trying to do some kind of fan meetup? But it, we just kind of did it at your Smash Bash, and that was about it, right? Yeah, we have to go. I've never America. thought of it. That's what I'm saying. We got to. You got to do something, and you got to rock up, and you got to do something like cool. Like everyone, if- look, homeless person over there. Let's give him some money. Woo! 
what if we fly to a very remote part of America and just post it all over our Twitter and socials that we're there? Like the first people to like come find desert. us get a get a prize. Yeah. Whoa. Like some fuck off town in Ohio. Damn. If we Ohio why would we do that? Why would you have a fan nah, meetup where Ohio's you don't meet any fans and everyone you have to just wait? Also, what about the other people that came, drove like nine hours, but they just rock up an hour late? Too bad. <laughs> Unlucky. Winner gets a lemon, Too not slow. you. <laughs> also, it's probably better than a lemon. Two lemons. <laughs> Two lemons. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. People have, Do people ask you if you do fan meetups when they find out you do YouTube? Uh, I've had sometimes. people ask me that, and I'm like, oh, I've never thought it doesn't about really, it. Does really work like that for us for some reason? I think it's because we live in Perth. Yeah, well, because eighty yeah, percent or whatever it is of our fans are in America. That's the closest the thing you can reason. get. It's the tournaments. We yeah, used go to, to a local the... tournament. Yeah, and then they don't like you. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> they're like, oh, cool video. <laughs> and they're like, Australia's tall poppy syndrome goes crazy. I think that fan meetups in Australia are so different to fan meetups in America. Oh yeah. I think I heard. Uh, I think it was. Either Cody Co or Noel Miller, because I, I think they were saying this on the podcast, that Aust- meeting Australian fans is a completely different experience to meeting fans from anywhere else. Because oh. we, as a culture, just do not put people on pedestals. We just tear them down. Yeah. And so it's just like, it's it's just very different experience. Well, like, how do you guys think you would react if you met like a big YouTuber? Because I would probably like not think too much of it. But I know there's a lot of people in America that like, like do a bit of like not worshipping, but you know they put they put them on a pedestal. Oh, I would try very hard not to make them un- feel uncomfortable. That would be probably my number one goal. Yeah, because like it's like, is it appropriate for me to go and talk to them? Are they in like a situation? Oh no, where... I mean in like a like a meet and greet. You've already like oh I'd be or like you're in a conversation with them already. Trying so hard to be chill. I'd try so hard to be chill. You know, I'd be like, oh, I I like this video. K- keep it up, and I'm internally I'd probably be exploding. Uh, what about I you, Jordan? No, I've done this before. I met um, Michael and Lindsay from Rooster Teeth once, and they signed a poster. And that's cool. I was cool. trying to think what I. I was just like, "Yeah, I love your videos." I don't know what else do you say. You stay chill, bro. You, you stay chill. I yeah. loved you in the wall part sixty-five. <laughs> what do they? Do they still do that? I don't know. I haven't watched Minecraft. them in a very oh. long time. Uh, uh, <laughs> have you ever, you ever met any of your heroes, Jackson? Yeah, I met Jake and Amir. Uh, oh, that's sick. When they came to Australia. Are those the improv guys? No, nah, they're old com- uh, college humor sketch people. Oh, oh I, know I do them. know them, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was cool. I was just like, love the videos. And they're like, thanks. And then he was like, I like your jumper. And I was like, thanks. And then we got a photo. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and I mean, I'm sure all do? the intonation was exactly <laughs> that. Yeah, like, thanks. there was some guy... <laughs> Looks him in the eye for five seconds. Thanks. 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 Some <laughs> guy, like, like gave them, like, a live lobster. I think it was, like... Was that oh, weird? Oh, so, like, you you following the live lobster was kind of just... You're like... He set the bar pretty high. You yeah. were like, you had a live crab, but you were like, I won't even bother now. But, like, <laughs> you could just tell <laughs> they were, like, away. tired... And like, oh, surely, yeah. you know, it's just like, fucking hell. I don't know. It's a weird thing, fan meetups. Yeah, I met uh, Matthew Riley, my favorite author. Yeah. And like, I read like all of his books, like legit, like really liked it yeah. back then. Yeah, it's, it's just an interesting experience, isn't it? It's like, I don't think you, you don't know meet, what to do. You, I don't know. It's a weird thing for me to say, but what, what are you going to get out of meeting me, for example? Nothing. Anyway. That's all right, guys, sorry, don't talk to Jackson. Go <laughs> back to Matthew Riley. Were, did you keep it chill? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was like, "Oh, like, do you like my books?" You're like, "Well, it oh, was a- no, maybe one." He uh, gave like a talk. <laughs> when you've like read them all, oh, or like, no. were you like, "Yeah, I'm a massive fan. I've read them all." I did say that. I did like, oh, yeah. but in a in a chill in a chill way. It wasn't just like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god." It wasn't like what's over the, the top. What's the chill way? Oh, it was just I'll like be Matthew Riley. Well, hey, how are you? Hey, hey, Matthew Riley. Uh, just call this, me Matt. This uh, this new one that you just released that you're doing this tour for. Mm. I'm just calling you Jesus Christ. Just call you Matt. I like the part where you... I can't even remember the book that well. I like I like this part. That was You awesome. seem like you're freaking out, Peter. It's okay. Uh, all Do you right, want me to thanks. sign a book? No, fuck you. All right, then. <laughs> can we get the photo? I'm out of here. Oh, it and is then, true, though. What do you get from meeting someone? I don't like, understand it. I go up next in line and I say, oh, it um, won't be as hard as that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you have the perfect interaction with Matthew Riley. <laughs> <laughs> the, the world's best interaction. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I always find it a bit weird. I don't know. You guys had, had any legendary coffee shop interactions <laughs> no, lately? No. You know what I found a bit weird? This is a whole what, new Zach? segment. So are we done with that? Yeah, one? please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something me and Maddie went to this week. Brilliant. Um, It was at the... It doesn't matter where it was at. It was called Medusa. And it was a play... But it was an interactive. You can't watch it though. 
interactive play. <laughs> Bad play. Uh, no, nah, I'll put Bad it there. Fan. It was about the Greek legend Medusa. The one with that uh, snakes, snakes hair. for hair, and she yeah. turns you to stone when you look at her. That's yeah, why. Yeah. Jordan's did did they hand out like free drugs while you were there? No. Okay, so you couldn't get stoned. Um, no. <laughs> no. Oh, the jokes are coming in here. I'm going to do one now. <laughs> Snakes for hair. Oh, hang on. <laughs> take your time, take your time. <laughs> we'll come back Let to you, Let it come Jax. to you. Let it come to you. <laughs> Just give it a minute. Um, so I wrote down some notes because it was very weird. So we went into... <laughs> a play. What's a play? Like Can when we they get Jackson's... Act? I can't cope with Jackson muttering rattlesnake. Can we get this I'm snake I'm trying to think of different out? snakes and then how it could... Okay, let him cook. Cobra. So Viper, I hardly know her. No, what? Adder. You, you just talk. I'll, I'll, I'll figure okay. it out. Um, you can't look at her. Ooh. Adder. Adder. Yeah. Uh, a snake. Okay, so... <laughs> so what happened to this play, Zach? <laughs> well, it didn't even seem like a play. We went through the doors and it's like a nightclub. And there's like all this music playing and everyone <laughs> dancing. But the group of like 30 people that we walked in with that all had like tickets are like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, um, boa and- constrictor, more like boa conditioner. <laughs> nice. Yep. Anyway... <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> You're the one editing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not getting left in. Or you edit in laughter. All right, wait. <laughs> okay. So the whole deal with this play is that it happens like around you. Like there's no stage. Like Ooh. you're in the nightclub and there's just all these characters like acting. I like that and idea. And so it's, it kind of becomes like people watching. It's like there's these people like acting, pretending to have like this big argument in the club. But then eventually it turns into the whole story of like Medusa. So, like, the characters are, like, Poseidon, but he's, like, a sleazy guy at a bar. Like, Athena. Oh, so, yeah, okay. I think I understand. So, like, for example, if this was the play, we'd just be talking and people come and watch this part of it and then go over there and watch that yeah. part of it. Like, me and Maddie could that talk. That concept and seems like, very interesting. It, it was pretty interesting. It sounds like it's not going to work. It was really weird because for the play to start, they needed, like, someone to interact with them to cause something. And so I went behind this, like, thing that was, like, bar... And then some guy ran over at me. This is before I even knew what this whole play was about. And he's like, you can't be behind the bar. And seemed really angry. I was like, oh, shit. And then I like left. Jesus Christ. Turns out that was like what instigated the play. Not from me. But then it en- ended up Maddie. Because we were talking about this. I was like, this guy like told me to get from behind the bar. And she was like, it's all actors. And I was like, what? Like, I thought we were watching the thing on stage. But it's like. Oh, did Maddie us. know that this was the concept going in? I. She, like we both and knew it was like, an interactive fucking play. Rude ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really know what it meant, but I thought this guy did work there. Mm. Oh, so uh, it's not even on the stage. Sorry, I'm just on. There's no stage. Sorry. No, yeah. you walk in a room and it's a, like the a play space. happens. Is it not easy to just completely miss something because you're great. not always looking in the right direction for a one audience member thing? No, there's a few things sometimes going on at the same time. Like they'll split up and then there's two people talking in the dressing room that you could go and explore. It was like a multi-leveled club that you could go and explore what the this hell? sounds like watching tenet and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> this is very confusing a and you mess. miss a bunch of dialogue yeah. and then you're really confused anyway i'll speed through the start bit because like so when me and maddie were talking then maddie went up to the bar and the guy did the same thing that he like like hey you can't be behind the bar but then maddie like because she thought he was an actor she was like yes i can i'm allowed to be here and he was like and then some other girl came over who ended up being medusa and then like they like led Maddie to the dance floor and then she danced with them for a bit. And then Poseidon's girlfriend came up and was like, why are you dancing with her? Was this a dream? And that was the start of the play. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and this play started with like Poseidon. And Wait, the his- play could only start if someone was so confident to say, I do belong behind the bar. I think there must have been a multiple ways to start it. There has yeah. to be because if a hundred Jordans went, the play would just <laughs> never start. Well, a hundred of you. Who yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm with of you. anyone. Fifty Jordans and fifty Jacksons. Hey, don't worry. Yeah, I already yeah, know yeah, what I'm going to do. I scampered off like a scared sheep. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Imagine the guy's like, "Shit, we almost started the play. <laughs> Wait for the next one to come through." Another late one. Sorry, babe. Can't get home tonight. It's late <laughs> night of work. Nobody's like, like, staying behind the bar. <laughs> he would just get bored and leave before it even starts. But they were like, yeah, they were pouring shots on that. I think it was all fake alcohol in the end. Oh my God, um, I'm did, so confused. I'm quite confused too. It sounds like a crazy social experience. It, it gets way weirder. Oh but no. it's like, so after Poseidon and his girlfriend would like have an argument, like the girlfriend would storm off and she goes upstairs and you could like follow her upstairs and see who she goes to talk to. Wait, wait, for wait. like her arc in the story. So are they gods or they just have the names of gods? They're what? actors. No, 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 they but were gods. Like, why are they the gods though? 
Like, I don't know. Can they be God powers? No, that part never gets explained. But it, they do <laughs> use just, God powers. Do they get turned into stone and shit? Yeah. Oh, so Ooh. they do have God okay, powers. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the this is the basic plot. Um, Poseidon's girl got jealous. Then Medusa started like grinding up on him. Then they have a dance off. Medusa and what? the other girl who was now, um is that canon or is that <laughs> Andromeda was Poseidon's girlfriend? Yeah, right. Yeah, they have a dance off. Lot of sexual dancing as well. There was a stage, and the play would occasionally break for Medusa to do like a sexy dance because it was like an adults only thing. What kind of sexy dances? Not that like twerking. Can you demonstrate Twer- yeah, burlesque like, twerking. Yeah, what, what's yeah. Our, what are we talking here? Kind of a mix between those two. What the fuck? Twerking doesn't sound not like full on, Medusa not full on era. twerking, but definitely a not. bit of like grinding, turning around to show a the bit butt. of turning around, <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a one eighty occasionally. Oh, like displaying the butt, but not twerking yeah, it in a sense. Exactly. Right. Um, and this is Act well, One. She wouldn't, she wouldn't want to be facing forward. She turns to exactly. Yeah. Oh, were, they, right were they dressed reasonably scandalously or pretty modestly? Pretty normal. Uh. Do you? Uh, okay, go on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we need to start with questions, and we'll never get to the end of this. Well, this is like a brief overview. Um, then Medusa gets turned into a monster by Athena because they're like, oh, let's fuck her up because she's. Oh, that's what happened. What? Yeah, Medusa gets um. The R word, the bad one where you don't get consent. Ah. Yeah, she gets Poseidon. What? Oh, sorry. Um, yes. Apes. Yeah, and then Athena, who owns the nightclub, covers it up by sending Medusa away to turn her into a monster. So it was also a really big take on, uh, like, sexual. I think that assault. is canon. Is that what happened? I'm, I'm pretty sure that is canon. See, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if the myth had anything to do with their storyline. I think it is. Sure. Because Medusa gets sent away, turns into a monster. Perseus came in, killed Medusa. Then Andromeda, who was initially silent, ends up like coming forward with the story because she knew that Medusa was telling the truth. And so at the end of the day, like Andromeda, Poseidon's ex-girlfriend, comes forward for Medusa, tells her story. And then Athena's like, well, I'm going to let that happen in this nightclub. And if you don't like it, leave. And that was when it ended. And everyone was like silent for five seconds. Then she's like, I said, if you don't like it, leave. Wow. So then we all left the play because we're like, oh, we don't like the fact that she got like assaulted and it all got covered up. (laughs) The police are in the the side. (laughs) The police are on the side waiting for the people who stay and they quickly come out (laughs) and get them. Or imagine if it's like literally that's act one and everyone left. (laughs) You know what I mean? That's true. I might have missed act two. You might have missed what what happens next. You don't want to see act two apparently. (laughs) Yeah, it probably gets a bit racy. Damn. Yeah, so that was a very... Weird way Was to start and end the play. Easy to follow. Like, did you find it? Surprisingly, yeah. Oh, it's impressive. It means it must be well done because it's a confusing concept. I feel like yeah, they like must have executed it pretty Medusa well. Medusa had a dressing room, right. which we actually, we stumbled upon before the play had started. And we were just like, are we meant to be in here? And then she came in and took a selfie with us. <laughs> <What>? Polaroid <laughs> camera. That's One of the crazy. actresses. Did she get to keep it? Why? Yeah. Dope, you have to show me. That's a sick concept, though. It was it was pretty cool. Very weird. We may have ripped into Jordan for not having tried any fruit. He was a beast at trying new things at the sushi train, oh, though. I will try new things. I, I just know, haven't tried them. I, I, that's what makes it even more confusing. <laughs> because you're so willing to try them, that you still haven't tried any he fruit. I tried it. raw Beef. fish. Banana. <laughs> you need, you need the sushi train delivery system to just bring new things near Jordan. And he's like, oh, I'll try that. Dude, raw but fish like, was so good. Yeah, it's my new favourite thing. Like, he's, it was he's, so easy. He's raw like, yeah, I'll try this one. So good. Mm, that's really good. And then he did that with like 50 different things. <laughs> Across one meal. Anything you wow. didn't like? Um, yeah, what was that thing? It was like the egg. The egg, the tamago, the Javanese style egg. It's just like egg with mm. sugar or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like that either. Yeah. Did you have like eel? I don't think. Yeah, you did. did. That's the last oh, thing we ordered, remember? I don't know. It was the good. unagi nigiri. Jordan was fucking high on life. <laughs> After trying 20 different things, he's like, man, the eel, I was already swimming from the raw fish. Yeah, the raw, it was what floating. was it? Raw salmon is so oh, tasty. Raw salmon is top three food for me. Ooh. I love raw salmon. Why? We should eat everything raw. Yep, you do that. And there are influences. Chicken and sashimi. <laughs> can you Bad. not do that? No, chicken you sashimi. Can. Yeah, I mean, you can. You can. You'll die. No, you won't. No, no. red meat, you can. Chicken, sashimi. 
The chances no, I of you, I, I, people really blow out the proportions of dying from raw chicken. You're probably fine. Well, you're gonna get very, very sick. No, it probably won't. I, this is a Peter fact. I don't. No, think it's true. okay. It, it's but it's why not do, like why you have, I eat the fish. You don't have raw chicken one time and then you get food poisoning. It's like there's a chance. Have salmonella. There's a chance. Mm. Or Campylobacter. Who? Speaking from experience. Yeah, and that was cooked. That was terrible. Yeah. I'm not saying it'd be good, but I, I the, the people really do blow it out of proportion. I would love to eat Maybe. more raw things. Like what? <laughs> what are you going to try next? Have you had thinly sliced beef that's raw? Oh, no. that you would cool? love beef tatar. Is it tatar no. or tatar? Tartar. No, tartar is a different thing. <laughs> Isn't that is true. the sauce? No, beef, beef no, tartar is beef raw beef. Tartar. Oh, okay. What's the Japanese? There's a Japanese one. It's like very I didn't thinly, mean, sliced. Oh, thinly sliced steak. Yes, tartar sauce. Does that sauce? make it less likely to get sick from it if it's thin? I oh, know. I think it's just like because it melts in your mouth. The thing with um, oh. okay, the re- the reasoning behind beef not giving you food poisoning and why you have to sear on the outside is because the muscles themselves won't have bad bacteria in it. But in the abattoir where they slaughter things, everything kind of like you might have some guts and stuff where the bad oh, stuff wow. is get onto the outside. Oh, that makes sense. So you just got to sear the outside, and if you sear the outside of the piece of steak you buy in the shops, you could chop it into thin bits and just you could chop the raw inside out and just eat that. Ooh. As long as you've seared the outside off, because that's, oh, that's, that's why people that's have the stuff medium rare or something. Yeah. What, what do you normally get when you get a steak out? Or you I don't usually get, get them. Maybe I'll just, I say medium rare, that's what everyone says, so I just say it. Get blue. blue. If you are the guy that asks for their steak blue, I'll respect What's you. What's blue? Basically it's the raw. one below red. Below rare, rare sorry. I've I'll got it a couple it. of times. I used to be really into raw beef. Was it good? Yeah, I mean, if you like it, it's good. Oh, I actually, actually eat no, if you want to be a real man, go ultraviolet. <laughs> that thing too. Yeah, I've below never, blue. I've never heard of that one. What is that? It's below blue. It's the next. How do you I think this might be gaslighting? This might be gaslighting. This is not right. I was just trying to. Right. Well, Jordan believed blue, and Blue's then so I real. just thought I'd. Yeah, but I thought I'd throw another one in. Oh. Yeah. You got caught in the crossfire. Well, no, I was asking. Sorry for asking a question about what you're talking about. I've never heard of that. What is yeah, it? Fake? No, it's not. <laughs> Completely fake. I was wondering how you it's got below blue. Tataki was the one I was tataki. thinking. Tataki, which is really nice, but it's like basically really thinly sliced raw beef. It sounds good. It yeah, is. Good. It was just like so. You, like, you put it in your mouth and it's already digesting. I think you'd love that, Jordan. Mm, very nice. Um, hey, yeah, I'd you. recommend but going to the gym. It's just, it's just baffling that you haven't tried so many things when you're actually good at trying them and you seem to like them most of the time. And I'm just like, but it's, where would it's you like try? You have it? two or three years of experience on the planet. Where would you try it? Like, I think you just don't have motivation to seek out and That's try That's what I mean, things. yeah. But do you not have experiences where, like, like I didn't try things. Like, I was like, oh, I hate olives. Didn't try them again for ages. Now I freaking love olives. And it's like, what if I had tried them earlier? I would have got so much more enjoyment. No, but then you'd be sick of them now. Is it better to never try it, and then every yeah, time I try it, it's it good. I right, think it, so every year you try, like, one new thing, and that's, like, oh, the year of the Yeah, salmon. exactly. Say, say, but my warm beer in the boot of the car that I always have. Guess what? The other day, International Beer Day, got my boot, got my beer out the boot, and it was a cold day, so my beer was cold, and it was, like, the best thing I'd ever drank. I don't even know what's... Oh, so you're... <laughs> so, I'm saying. so you're saying that everyone should live... Just be happy the with shit the shit. Co- this, this is the whole reverse holiday thing. Jordan, you have a fridge. All your beers can be cold. No, yeah, but then but the cold beer, ones wouldn't taste as good. It would taste like warm. Oh, no, the couch is aligning again, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I probably enjoyed the raw fish more than Peter and Sophie. Yeah, wow. What, oh, because you were trying for the Because they, they knew what they were getting into. Jordan, absolutely mind-blowing mm, experience. Exactly, exactly. Uh, my mission in life is to make Jordan try everything and ruin his life. <laughs> that sushi factory <laughs> As was soon like, as I try everything, I'm in shambles. It's like Kings used to be depressed or something. No, well, surely if you try more things, then you have more things to choose from when you eat, so you're less likely to get bored of things. No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, uh, that counterpoint. Is, that's you're, the you're an idiot, Jackson. Yeah, that's that's, no, but you that's where we stop. That's where we know Jordan can't be convinced otherwise. Everything's not- good. There's not one good thing. When I go to get food, if there's something I'm like, oh, I'll probably like that. I just don't get it a lot of the time. Everything's good. There's not one good thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Because it doesn't matter. It's all good. Yep. Oh. It's not question time, Jackson. It's not. Should we end the pod? Uh, can we have a question? Do you have a question? For? Wait, can you just check how long we've been going for? One and four, probably need another 15, oh, 10, 15 well, minutes. I don't think you'll be yeah, cutting I much out of this one. No, probably. Oh, probably. oh, probably actually. Probably actually. We talk, talked a lot about things that are going to be cancelled. So if, if we can cut oh, everything out, that'd be yeah, awesome. I have a yeah, I probably will remove that part of it. You don't, do you have one? Yeah, yeah. yeah go on. 
Well, I need a theme song. Oh, sorry. What number is it again? Blue. Blue. Can right. I just perform yep. raw like that? Ready? Yep. It's the Pollard One question of the week. Should there just be two sports? Yes. Yes. Which two? Sorted. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, let's go with uh, two. I have bias, obviously. Yeah. UFC. I, I said UFC and soccer. Women's football. I've been watching that. Mm. I think oh, we're going to play both so I guess them. you could just say football. No, yeah. no, I'm saying... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men's <laughs> UFC and women's football. That's the only two options. I can't yeah. believe men's basketball got women. <laughs> What's that? Basketball got cut. Well, I just think a contact and a non-contact, and then soccer's more popular. Why is UFC taking the contact? I'm sorry, but ice, ice hockey. <laughs> They've maxed out on contact, you know? It's, it's just full like... contact. Nah, ice hockey but doesn't... you can't play... Liz, there's only two sports in the world. You're born in Australia. Like, shit, I can't do ice hockey. True. I think, Jordan, I think you've kind of... I think UFC's a great choice. Soccer's a terrible choice because you still might touch them. So if we're maxing out on contact, we need a minimum out contact. Yeah, it needs to be one. a good sport. It tennis, needs to be a good sport. Tennis? Uh, curling? And I feel like soccer doesn't matter as much in terms of body size as Sorry, well. Sorry, did you just Darts? say... Did you just say it needs to be a good sport and then say curling? curling? Well, it needs to be Darts. no contact. Absolutely no contact. <laughs> yeah. How about this? Um, Volleyball. Team team sports are better. Could contact your team. No, tennis... Ooh, and a team sport and an invi- yeah, individual tennis, sport. I'm when, killing when it with I'm, this too. When I'm paying to watch like Wimbledon, which I don't, but if I was... There's two tennis players earning money from that. If I'm watching like a football game, there's like 22 players all getting to professionally compete Which, at the same time. So more players is better? Yeah. So what's the sport with the biggest number of yeah, players? So UFC's well, bad up there. there. AFL no, is definitely up there. An individual, oh, a team. AFL might be the most. Not AFL. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that contact. Nah, I just, I'm too sick of hearing about it in Australia. Let's That's go true. With, let's go with rollerblade hockey. You said we couldn't do ice hockey. Rollerblade hockey's a thing. Oh, it might be a bit much contact. But then I what if you're you, poor? You UFC's do it. good Soccer's in the fact good. that you just wrestle no, each other. No, that's the contact sport. Instead of UFC, I'm saying. No, you can't Because like ice UFC. hockey, when they throw off the gloves and have a punch out. Too much gear. No yeah. rules. No, it's that's hype a- when they do that, so just fight the whole time. No, but UFC, they're just <laughs> holding each other like sweaty men on the floor. Yeah, awesome. Ice hockey, they get straight to the point. They just throw their gloves off and punch each well, other. Well, watch boxing then. And then they stop. Or Muay Thai. Well, you didn't have boxing as your contact sport. Yeah, I would UFC's prefer boxing. Better. Can we uh, take a little a step back? Why are we getting rid of every other sport? Because... Oh, Peter, no, that's excellent not even question. <laughs> <laughs> I am surprised we didn't answer that straight away. That was going to be my question. But, but I uh, think that the thing is, you've got all these athletes spread out. You just want you want the best of the best going at it, you know? Well, don't they just congregate in what they are best at? Like, yeah. do you think that LeBron James would be a better soccer player than Messi because he's not playing soccer? He just doesn't get to shine? Yeah, but imagine, like, I feel like you don't get the best athletes all together. Like, yeah, if Shaquille got- O'Neal was in the UFC, man, like... Do you think so? That'd be sick. Yeah. I'm sure if Shaq could make a quick buck from joining the UFC, he probably would have. What do you mean? I feel like... Like, I- he does so many commercials and that. Like, Shaq's just down for anything. I don't think he could just join the UFC, I think... <laughs> Logan Paul did, didn't he? No, that's no, he WWE. WWE. It's yeah, very okay. different to getting Shaq fucking in WWE, punched in the face. Though. <laughs> now that is... A, oh, w- why don't we have WWE, WWE as one of the sports? No, that's that's not a sport. That's a TV it's, show. No, it's a sport to me. Shaq has done <laughs> WWE. No, but we cannot count it as a sport in this thing. That's so funny. And why two? Why not just one then? Contact, not contact. A bit of spice. Well, Team, should we just individual. A bit but of spice. Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't some of the people in the non-contact camp be better than the other one? So you're kind of just defeating your own point. Yeah, also... More spice, more sports solved. No, but what if we didn't I think get rid of any sports? There's too much separation, you know. <laughs> you want to see LeBron versus Ronaldo or something? That you want to see at USC. At USC. It's all- I want to start a book club. You guys want to join? A book no. club. Uh, what are we going to read? Do I have to read them or can I audio book them? I'm think uh, you can audio book them. I think you can audio book them. I'm Ooh, thinking maybe I'm we do a book club and you come in and you talk about your book for like. In- 10 words or less, you give a review. Ten, that's ten. not a lot of words. That's not so worth you read 20,000 words to say 10. To refine it I've been reading ten. a couple books. It's a bad ratio. Wait, if a picture paints 1,000 words... You can bring I in read a picture. A, yeah, 20,000 word book, well, I can bring in 20 pictures. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. What? 20 pictures no, to explain you get the it, entire like, book. For the amount yeah. of words in the thousands, I get one picture per thousand. Does that mean picture books are like 40,000 <laughs> words? It's also a podcast. <laughs> Man, kids are working so. hard. <laughs> I don't know how well the pictures are going to be doing on the pod. Yeah. What Can we do a quick check-in with everyone's things? Have you taken the what fish things? oil? I've been taking the green shit. Oh, how bad is it? it it's not very nice. Put it, it in a protein shake. Trust me. 
Yeah. Don't taste I it. I don't at want all. to ruin my protein shake. Just try with this it stuff. once because I had I'm that feeling, and I, but I actually committed and yeah, I, I didn't taste it. It's like it. a psyllium husk. You just got to put it in the protein shake. You don't even notice it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll give it a track. I'll, I'll risk one protein shake to do the science. Just put but something in it that overpowers it. Yeah. But basically, the problem with this green shit is that it doesn't actually dissolve. Like, it's like, just have it in water and then you just have those dust at the bottom that's not, mm, oh, it's not yeah. good. You need hot water to dissolve things, don't you? It's just not soluble. Oh, okay. Put it's it in a shake. Put it water? in a shake. It's just not soluble. Okay. It's like it's like if I said, put some sand in your water, then drink it. And I'm like, oh, maybe, boy. it's just not going to happen. It's oh, okay. so disgusting. It's the just, green. Have you had it before? No, I don't know what it oh, is. Oh, it's gross. Spirulina. By the way, right for mm, those, that, yeah, that's, that's the green is the main shit. ingredient. Mine's um, like a mixture of a bunch of them, but yeah, that is one of them. What's yours yeah, called? That is the mine. one that makes it green and disgusting. It's like a, it's one of those protein oh, company like things. Greens like, or whatever. Yeah, some shit like something greens or something. Uh, right. Anyway, I've been wearing a sleeping mask. <gasps> oh, I cannot recommend it enough. Oh, it's been good. It's I been have amazing. heard that. Uh, it's one of the biggest things that affects your quality of sleep. Maybe I should get one. Any amount of light. I think I said that on the podcast. Really? So I don't know. I remember someone saying it on the podcast. I don't know who. I I remember saying it. But the information is in my head. I think I said it on the podcast. Oh, I maybe. found it out from a different source than you. Oh, okay. I too have said it on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, say it now, Jordan. Uh, I've heard that if there's lights, you don't sleep. Anyway. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think it's amazing and I cannot recommend What's it. What's different about it? It's dark. <laughs> have you, uh, do you I feel don't know like how you wake up with why, why do I ever ask you for details? I don't you're, understand Talking the about question. your stream, you're like, I was just popping around. Oh, I was popping around. <laughs> I was popping around. Oh, it's darker. Like, do you do you sleep more solidly for oh, longer? Yeah, yeah. Do you like wake up with more juice? Um, do you go to do you fall asleep faster? I definitely think I fall asleep faster and wow. I stay asleep. Is and the biggest you difference. have had insomnia in mm, the past, right? That just if Ooh. you have insomnia, well, this is not going to solve everyone's problem, but don't drink caffeine and you'll be fine. Well, that solved my insomnia. No, it does. It also sense. might be to do with when you drink caffeine. Yeah, but uh, don't do it after twelve, midday, or before an hour. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can always fall asleep. I haven't been having caffeine like at all. But then yesterday, because I was going to a tournament, I had a, a small coffee at like six p.m. But I still just fell asleep straight away. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the person. I'm like, I am a good and bad sleeper in in ways like at night I can get to sleep and I sleep solidly but if I ever need to like sleep on a plane I'm completely fucked oh, yeah. so oh, like on a plane I'm in trouble but yeah. then also I, I am not a napper at all so I only am only tired when it's sleep time it's quite good you but never then, have nap how many naps do you have a year zero oh if I'm sick I'd consider it yeah I don't know if wow. that counts either. but zero yeah. I would nap every day I'm a I'm a no napper as well mm. I would probably nap ten times a year I reckon <sighs> Naps way too much. No, naps. Are, well, NASA thinks they're good, so <laughs> therefore putting, putting it good. in the yearly quantity sounds more like a hibernation. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> You're like, oh, is it December twelfth already? <laughs> it's time. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't uh, nap sometimes, but not very often. I often feel like I wake up like feel like shit after a nap. You yeah. know what? You do, do for a bit, yoga, but then you get over it. Yoga nidra instead of napping is great. What the hell's yoga nidra? I've, I've never napped, but it's the. I How often I've do you yoga it nidra? It's, it's called like mindful resting or something. Um, some shit like that. Non sleep deep rest. That's the one. NSDR. How do you do that? But like another form of it is yoga nidra, but that you should probably be doing poses, but that's what I. Call Meditation it. in general, don't. Could you meditate? Yeah, don't you yeah. feel like that's a nap? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, because I've. I'm so bad at meditating, but then I finally committed and did like a 20 minute one and I like felt like I had the greatest nap of all time. I've yeah. Been, yeah. Trying to do nothing a lot more recently. Respect. Yeah. It's hard. Fuck that. Yeah. Your brain is like, you take you, you your take brain's you, like, please, yeah. anything. Messenger, quick check. Oh, do you have an Instagram gives notification? Up, yeah. Have you guys moved your apps around? I did that again recently. It's I should so do that. I'll do it today. Crazy. I moved them around kind of recently. It's so bad. And then you just start clicking on the wrong thing. You're like, whoa. Yeah, it's so funny how wow. autopilot you get. Oh, it's pretty man. funny because like, do, do you guys have organized phone screens like uh, with yeah. everything? Yeah. But I do not. I just, I, I download something and it's just next. Page. Next. In yeah. the next, and then I'll download something I never use and they're all just together. So like TikTok's buried next to all these pointless things I have as well. And it's just like. But you get to it quick, I bet. Uh, TikTok takes me a while because I never use it, but oh, the, the things that you use X, yeah, X, I can get straight. Your to. brain's just like boop boop boop. Yeah, you should move your stuff you do and put something else there. There's an app I heard. Anyway, this is maybe the last thing I'll talk about with this, but we it uh, you can add any app into the uh, umbrella of it, and if you click on that app, it gives you ten seconds to like take a breath, and it's like that's so funny. Okay, what? do you still want to use Instagram? And you're like, nah. 
That's, that's really good. funny. That's fucking wild. I might try that. That yeah. sounds good. So I'm gonna try that out. That was gonna, what I was gonna be was, was just gonna suggest was that's my new thing to try. Yeah, because I have a thing that deletes like the news feed on everything. But now deletes I, the news feed. Like say if I go on Twitter on my computer, I don't see anything. It's yeah. just is nothing. Then what's the point? To like make a tweet. Oh, like I you see. Can, like, you can oh. still post. And like my YouTube, if I go on YouTube, it's just a search bar. There's no That's recommendations. But I got in a bad habit of like, you quickly click the link, which takes you to the site, which is like, um, remove the app for 10 minutes. Oh, you know how and my like, brain's just like, boop, 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 boop. I'm like, yeah. fuck, damn it. I need to stop. Do you not get worried that like, you're going to say something that's really bad without context? What like, do you mean? Like, let's say they discover bananas are like a carcinogen. And you tweet like, oh, how great are bananas? Just say one. <laughs> I you mean, know? or like you tweet know. something I like, oh, you get that news eventually. Like, man, listening to Juice by Lizzo, love that girl. I don't think Jordan <laughs> says anything anywhere near topical enough to be controversial. But I'm saying this might be a potential downside. But then people will say it. Like, I'm sure getting the same. We also, isn't getting cancelled. We also like. relentlessly talked about Jordan killing the queen, so I don't think we're really worried about that. <laughs> yeah, like that might be but one of the biggest news stories. But then people reply. Everyone else knows, yeah. and then everyone say. No, you can't say that. We and then talked I'll about that it. before it happened, though. No. Yeah, no, before. No, it was definitely after. No, we talked about Jordan fighting the queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she died. We might have and then, then we talked about it. maybe she died because Jordan killed her. Yeah. It might have been the thumbnail, Jordan kills the queen. So it was before and after. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> on the maybe. Did we do that? Yeah, I think so. Is that And you right? referenced it again later. Well, I remember. Anyway. On the, uh, on the, on the apps thing, yeah, what on. should I move to where my ex is sorry i'm a bit of a chronic x user nice <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a chronic xer i post on x all the time um, too, what man. should i put there instead hey, you have some pretty good x's though yeah what about <laughs> are you trying to track your calories or something you can put that app there. No, I, I can't be fucked but that's an app that you think yeah put what's something, something that's gonna be what should, what should go there i think nothing should go there you should delete twitter that put, put like an alarm no no but like what, when my brain automatically no, taps where it used to be what do i need to accidentally open all the time pop it once youtube channel yeah, yeah, yeah my videos no i don't think it matters i think your brain just because you will be surprised how many times you, your brain just goes to twitter yeah, without even it's thinking so about cooked, it man. and then you pull up whatever i don't know yeah, photos i need to pull up something that's good for my life that's yeah, what I'm saying. I, I don't know. I don't think any apps. What if you pull up life. a mirror and then you look at yourself? You're like, fuck, yeah, man. Yeah, camera, camera, camera <laughs> face cam yeah, mode, yeah, yeah. and then I can see how disgusting and sweaty <laughs> I look while taking pictures. Yeah. You got like <laughs> drool hanging out of your mouth because you're like in that state where you're not even thinking. You're yeah. wearing autopilot to it, and then you just see yourself, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> you know, I'm, that's where the name of Black Mirror comes from because when your screen's off, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a black oh, mirror. Oh really? And it just you just see yourself looking like shit, and you're like, oh. Oh uh, yeah, that's what you should do. I think it's such a thing. It uh, just turns off your phone. <laughs> do you think phone screens are designed that way? So you can if you see, see yourself and you're like, oh, I look shit. But they you're don't want you turn, to do that. No, but then you turn the screen on and then you disappear. Oh, and you're, you're like, like disappear, <laughs> and you're like, oh, now I can go on X. Potentially, now wow. I can go on X. Like X needs to stop. X it is needs such to a go hard back. Letter to say. It's going to stop. He's gonna run it into the ground. X. That's probably. I mean, I like using Twitter, but it'll be good if it's gone. So that's fine. Over to threads. <laughs> have you guys using threads? No. Yeah, I have. Was it good? It's fine. Same as Twitter. How do you feel about all the very dodgy terms and conditions stuff? I didn't know about that. Yeah, neither till I already made an account. But apparently you can't delete your thread account without deleting your Instagram account. Yeah, so okay. it's like if you want to get off threads, you just Ooh, can't. You just delete the without app. Wow. Uh, yeah, but then there's something to do with like if you don't post every... Nah, surely there's not that. You die. Maybe there is. You haven't posted a thread. Your Instagram game account is gone. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, he hates you. Post a thread to stay alive, Bro. fucker. <laughs> Zuck, got back in the, Zuck got back in the game. Yeah. He was tragically failing with fucking what meta. What did he get back with? The metaverse. Like, no, but what ever, did he get back with? Threads. Threads. Is it good? Yeah, it's kind of well, like, like... It's, it's a competing at least against it? X. Yeah, because yeah, people are like, oh, X sucks. Because you know like the Elon Musk hate train? Yeah. People are just like, oh, I'm going to go Threads then. As a result of that. I've never seen Threads. And then once you go to Threads, you do not want to get back with your ex. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Learn that lesson. Nice. Thanks. All right. End the podcast on that. Fuck yeah, I reckon so. I've moved my apps around. I've hidden them. Let's Ooh. go, Pete. I can't wait to hear back from you. All right. I'll let you know. Jordan, say a joke. Um...